All right, guys, welcome back to some more Sons of the Forest. So I uh, logged in and, uh, you know, getting everything set up like normal. The reason why I started a little later today was uh, I was I was like, man, this seems weird. This lamp isn't finished, and I'm pretty sure I finished it last episode. Yeah, I guess I didn't save when I logged off at the end of last episode. Not a huge deal. We didn't lose a ton of progress. We pretty much at the end of last episode, I got in my car or my car. I got on the glider and I went to the other side of the map. And we um, we shot uh, a few moose, and and that that's pretty much all that didn't save. Yeah, so we we definitely dropped the ball on that. It wasn't like I said the end of the world, uh, but it still kind of sucks because I did get like four, like three or four moose. So we're gonna we're gonna actually redo that same thing. But today um, in the morning, guys, when we go. Uh, I'm actually gonna see if I can uh, make this axe gold before we leave and I want to say th Sunny, thank you for the gifted brother I appreciate it and uh, Serenity thank you thank you for the super chat uh, definitely having a good day definitely having a good day all right so uh, as you guys know I wanted to make rounds and get uh, extras of all the guns today so that's what we're gonna be trying to do also uh, I wanted to hit the katana cave I want to or the the katana bunker. I want to try to get that done. So we got we got goals today. We got we got some goals. We're gonna go out do some exploring and try to get some more um, weapons and and things like that. Because the base for the most part is in good shape, guys. There's not much more that we have to do with the base as of right now. Um, now we're kind of just decorating on the inside, getting some goodies and, and things like that. But yeah, um, today I definitely want to head out. Or tomorrow in the morning we definitely want to head out and get some such like just build our arsenal up nick what's going on brother yeah definitely big rookie move dude for sure man it was it was bad all right so let's head out in the morning we should get attacked right no smooth sailing okay all right let me check my inventory here okay so let me uh we're gonna. I said I was gonna do food and water. Like there is one thing I want to do. Okay, so we want to get those built real quick. <clears throat> and the reason is, is I, uh, I need more space for a sulfite. Oh, drop them on the ground, cut them in half. Well, actually, it doesn't matter. It'll auto do it. So we're getting this squared away real quick. We'll have good tabs on. How much of this we have? It's actually better if I just go through and do this. Yeah, so there's going to be a lot of uh, solo fight needed because I want to do the gold, um, all the gold weapons, uh, the gold bone armor, things like that. So we're going to definitely need a, a good a good bit of resources to make all this happen for sure. Trying to just get all my solo fight in one area. Seems like I have a good bit of it though. Alright, 
so let's go ahead get all this stuff stored for right now. I will eventually at some point whoop, uh, reorganize because I told you I wanted to have all of my food on the one wall and then all of the uh, like resources and shit on another wall. So that's why I'm kind of trying to split things up like we are currently. Whoa, Joe. Seriously, thank you so much. How you doing today, man? It's coming in, dropping the 10 gifted. Yeah. We need space for the C4. We'll drop that there. I'm going to keep some batteries on. Uh, no, you know, we'll get some more while we're out and about. It's not a big deal. Definitely got to empty out the the good old inventory before you, you head out because, man, it is so frustrating when you go out there and your inventory is completely full. You can't loot anything. So I'm just trying to make sure we keep... I'll keep one thing of pills on me just in case I get hit by something um, in my inventory now. I'm going to throw this armor on. Okay, we're good on that. Pieces are good. Open this. Oh, empty solar and big batteries. Yep, thank you. So that's one of the things I consistently forget about. Now, I know you could throw these batteries on a shelf, but... I kind of just prefer throwing them right here. Okay, so inventory is looking good. We're going to empty out bone. Yeah, I always forget about the damn... Solar panels. Okay, so this axe is about to go. Uh, let's see. Do need to grab a weapon of some kind. I stored up most of my weapons, as you guys see, because I'm trying to uh, carry this boat. That's fine. I won't need it. Nothing should make it through the gauntlet, right? We got the... Do I have any weapons, though? Got the rifle. We'll grab a few spears. That should be enough. That should be enough. All right, let's do this. Damn it.
Get a decent bit of armor and shit here. Alright, definitely gonna have at least another wave or two coming. So yeah, the first line of defense is pretty damn good. Coven's gonna get shredded out there. Make C4, yeah. I probably, yeah. I, I know there's a lot of stuff that we gotta start crafting up. Oh, fuck! Here comes one of those real big dudes. Hoping that the base holds nice and easy. Fit through the, the gap. Something else out there? Seriously, bro? It's actually quite a few of these dudes coming. Should be good. I don't think there's gonna be another wave of mutants at least.
still have no hands. The dead bodies will fall. Hit her with two spears, took off though. Well, Amber, the reason why, yeah, the grinder traps aren't getting broken because we don't have this. We, I, I turned off the setting, or I made my, no, yeah, no, we turned off the setting where the base could get destroyed, um, which does turn it and lead into the traps, which is kind of annoying. Um, I wish you could separate the two, but, um, because when your base gets broken, it just could completely glitch out like it did. And th that was the one thing I didn't want to happen was my base to get broken and glitch out again like the last playthrough. So we have uh, all of the, the stuff turned up so it can't get destroyed. Um, but it does make the traps super, super overpowered. The only thing they could really do now is like overwhelm the traps. If you get the artifact, just turn them gold. Yeah, th I think that's what we might do. We took care of business. We should be able to get our axe back. It should be finished. So we got hit with the the raid for the smelter here, and then we had another raid from the freaking uh, cannibals. Well, we got a bit of extra armor we could throw down. Um, Calvin again get sticks. Do you think I got enough traps? I mean, it seems like there's enough traps for right now, but you never know. Again with another 10 gifted, dude. What? Seriously, man. That is so kind. Everybody receives a membership. Welcome to the family. We've had so many new members, guys. It is actually kind of crazy. All right, there we go. Double check. Just eat and drink real quick.
I'm hoping this golden axe is pretty good. I mean, I plan on getting the katana anyway, so it doesn't really matter. All right, so first things first, we're going to go uh, head over. We're going to get some more leather from, from the moose. Impact with the four months. Hey, how you doing today, man? I'm glad you enjoyed the content, brother. You can uh, nod your head at Kelvin and see if he's happy or not. If he nods back at you. I did not know that. I did not know that. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna definitely gonna add a moose. That's gonna be our probably our that's it's gonna be our biggest trophy. We got some heavy hitters on the wall currently, but you know. Moose wouldn't be bad, right? So what do you mean? I got I got more than just a turtle. I got two turtles. Impact. Thank you so much. Dropping the five gifted, man. I really appreciate the love. I, I do agree, Mr. Carl. Um, I feel like if the, if the game could probably do with some uh, aggressive wildlife, I think that'd be pretty good. cool. I mean, it, it, it all depends on what stage of the game you're in, though, because I feel like when you're, like, in the later stage and you're getting attacked constantly, it's, like, kind of, like, a little bit of solace to go out. Because when you go in the woods and shit like that, um, you're, you're just constantly getting attacked. So I feel like it's, like, moment to moment sometimes i'm like oh it's kind of quiet there they haven't been messed with but the can between the cannibals and mutants man they definitely keep you on your feet but i do think some uh some aggressive wildlife would be pretty cool because even the first force game had some they had the crocodiles um i don't know if they had like wolves or anything i don't remember hudsy what's up brother how you doing man need a magnifying glass looks like an almond study get out get out Over here, my trophies are the best. Small fry with the 21 months, man. I appreciate you, brother. Seriously, how you doing today? All right, here we are. So I've been coming to the uh, the airstrip here. It seems like. We got quite a few moose when we came here last time, so I'm hoping to for the same amount of success. I got super armored.
A whole little cannibal patrol coming across the area here. I don't know how they're going to respond to the gunshot if we find a moose. Oh, bitch. Thought you were slick. Can't be slicker than a can of oil, right? your whole arm, bro. How did you think this was gonna go? Huh? Huh? Do what we had to do, chat. Another one up there. <laughs> Needed the trophy. That really going his ass chat. There's no fucking way, dude. Uh, we'll let her go. What the fuck did my moose go? <laughs> I 
Could have despawned or some shit. Man, that was a waste of two bullets, man. Yo, they're non-stop coming at me right now, dude. Big boy. I did not say it. Never know. That was not how that was said. I didn't even say if I see how see how see how see how stuff gets exaggerated. That's not even what I said. I don't remember exactly what I said, but I just pretty much said we needed more male filers in the, in the game because we were only getting female. Like, why would I? Why would I? I that didn't even sound like what I would say. How much meat do we got so far? Okay, we're pretty full on meat. That's not that's not even how I said it. I was pretty much just because we were Jet literally, we we're only getting female thylas. Every and I was just like, oh, we need more male thylas in my life. Like, or or we needed uh, we need more uh Thylas with 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 wieners or something like that. But I didn't like it, it didn't come across like wrong or anything like that. It made sense in the moment, you know what I mean? Like like I guess if you weren't there to like see it, like it's hard to explain. It was like one of those things you kind of had to be there for, you know. moment it made perfect sense. Ooh, that was a little sharp. Oh, that was definitely a bit sharp. We're good. Okay, so I gotta get another pistol, another shotgun. I wanted more wieners. That's not it. We needed the wieners, Chad. It's different. I mean, that doesn't sound any better, but you you know, just whatever. Whatever. We'll just fucking just forget about it. Let's change the subject.
We gotta get this pistol. Uh, I think I have the dive suit, so I think we can swim fast. I think. Um, we're still probably gonna get attacked by a fucking shark again. I have turtle shells. We can grab some turtle shells too while we're here. The, see, the setup is real. You guys are trying to set me up. Knowing, knowing that it's just all being misinterpreted. Alright, so we're, we're good here. We're good here. Let me see. We'll throw on the... Yep. Wetsuit. How many pieces for the artifact do I have? I have... Uh, five. There's one piece that I'm missing, and it's the one that you get after you beat the game, I believe. Oh, no. Oh, shit, you really do swim faster. So, we might get bit, like, once. Hopefully it doesn't bite through the fucking armor. But if we get bit... I wonder if we can kill the shark from up on the top with the with the rifle. Ah, fucking bitch. I ain't even scared. Why is this shark so far off of the raft, though? You see what I'm saying? Bitch, if you don't stand up on the side of this motherfucking raft, dude. Chris, what's going on? Thank you for the super chat, man. Game is going good. Yeah, I'm trying to locate this shark. There it is, I can see it. That was a good hit. I killed it. Oh, it died, dude. Hell yes. I don't know if there's another one. Woo! 
Yo, there's more. Yo, there's tons of sharks out here, guys. That's why, yo, there used to only be one shark out there. I shot two and there was a third one still there. How many different songs are there? I think I have a radio in my inventory that we could, yeah, so when we get back to base, I don't know if you could set those things up or what. I'm gonna take this wetsuit off because it makes you walk slow as shit. Nick, how you doing today, brother? Coming in, dropping the five gifted, man. Everybody receives one. Welcome to the fam. Some elevation here. Now we could actually see how many sharks are in the water. So there's one right there. Look how many fucking sharks there are, dude. It used to not be like that, Ted. There was one shark in this fucking water, yo. There's so many. Yeah, they... they I, I know the sharks, so you can see the white under their face. Do the orcas attack you also? Has anybody ever glided uh, into the ocean horizon? You know, I've never tried to leave the area, like try to see how far you could glide out.
Paul, what's going on? How you doing? Paul, we should have that thing out. Um, within the next day or so. It'll be expedited, so it should definitely be there. I think it was said by, what, the 14th or 13th? Talk with Crystal. We'll probably try to have it there by the end of this week. I mean, we'll definitely try to have it to you. I'm going to try to get it to you by, like, Friday or whatever. Yeah, it should be. Should definitely be okay. That does not sound like a good time, dude. Go kart racing, lazy tech arcade. Yeah, that's that. That sounds like a good time for me. Got to see the leg lamp lit up at night. Some people were saying it's pretty bright, so I'm looking forward to it. So that baby is done. Now, oh, that was the question. So do we got to, like, run a power line to this or something? Because I don't see an option to, like, turn it on. Okay, so at the moment, Virginia's not here. So I'm going to put this extra pistol there for now. These are my goons. I'm going to I'm gonna make the revolver golden now. I'm going to armor up. Because we've got a couple, couple caves we've got to push. Uh, he's got to put the frame in, but and then hope, yeah. It has to have okay, yeah, that's fine. I, I, I could run electricity to it. Make the revolver golden.
Oh, we finished the chandelier, Orion. Yeah, we finished that a few episodes ago, actually. meat yeah definitely gonna need skulls for later um, yeah, I forgot about that those damn teleporters and shit requires so many skulls I wish they had better skull storage you know what I mean Chandeliers are probably the best way to store skulls, isn't it? Because the shelves could only hold one skull per slot. So we should have another group coming soon. I'm standing there pointing at him. Yeah, Calvin definitely put the jets on. We gotta go empty out the skulls right now so we can grab more. You can store heads at oh I think you could store it. Oh, skulls on on sticks too.
Oh, what's up? I don't know if you can. Yep, you can. So we'll store up these extra batteries here. Should be done, right? Awesome. So now we got the golden revolver. Virginia was here and then she ran off again. All right, let's go make this happen. I got I got the handgun here for her, but let's check my ammo supply, make sure we're good. Oh yeah. We're good. Calvin should be good. We're going to head over to the Puffton Cave first. We're going to kill that boss. Actually, you know what? Let's go get the let's go get the key uh the katana first. Yeah, we're not gonna be doing an insane amount of loot, and I got, already got so much, so much crap at the moment. We're gonna go for the essentials. I need explosives, grenades, ammo, things like that. But when it comes to like watches, um, solar panels, like all that stuff, we'll, we'll get at another time. So first, we got to go to the residential bunker. Yeah, I, yeah, you can definitely beat the whole game without fighting them. It's kind of like a little Easter egg boss, really. You go higher if you jump onto the... I remember when I hit it with the damn... 
little motorbike thing, we went flying into there. spread your shit like that. It smells like sulfur outside. It's probably from something the workers did. These two. It should be good. That was a lot of cannibals. Did not expect that big fight.
Get down, son! Little Milton Tim, all grown up. I wonder if every MRE we eat is a different flavor. That one was Sloppy Joe. Wonder, are they all Sloppy Joe? My favorite MRE is Chili Mac all day. I ain't doing shit. Oh, is this one of the tanky ass ones? It was. <laughs> Holy fuck, why is there so many guys? So many dudes. <gasps> all, right, all MREs taste amazing. Easy to say it doesn't. I mean, I think I think a lot of the MREs are pretty good. Um, I was over when I was in Afghanistan. We we didn't have a defect for like chowal for like four months, so uh, we were eating MREs for like four months straight and I did get a little tired of them. Well, honestly, it wasn't, it wasn't too bad. Yo, listen, listen, veggie omelet was not that bad, okay? It, it wasn't that great. 
but if you ate it cold, it was okay. But it, Veggie Omelet was good because it came with the Pop Tarts. You would get the uh, crispy M and M. Sometimes you, you could get the Skittles out of the the vet, uh, all the um, vegan omelet or vegan MREs. They would come with the the Skittles and shit. So Veggie Omelet wasn't that bad. Run up some arrows real quick. Said the favorite was the cheese spread. I mean, the cheese spread was fire. The only thing that sucked is like if the MRE was like older, the cheese spread would be like brown. It'd be like separated from the, for the, it was, it was really gross, but, um, everybody wants the chocolate peanut butter spread. That shit is so good. Wheat snack bread with some chocolate peanut butter on it. Talk about delicacies. The jalapeno cheese spread was delicious, too. Yo, I've never seen this many enemies in here before. That's crazy. It was like this last I don't remember coming into all these dudes. I thought it was way chiller last time. But I, there was even guys in the stairwell there, which I've never seen before. There it is, there's our baby, got the katana. MREs do have a expiration date. Um, not like anybody really upholds it. I mean, I was eating MREs from like the freaking 90s and shit that had uh, the charms that were fused together. Disgusting. But yeah, MREs actually aren't like good forever. They're, they actually do have, they're only good for a couple of years, the box. Well, the like best used by date, I guess you could say. Welcome back, Please contact the facility manager if you require any further 
I knew them shits were old when they had charms in them, and I'm like, yo, I ain't heard of charms before. Like, that wasn't even a candy that was available when I was a kid. So that means that shit was before my time. It was like that. I don't remember. I mean, it could have been very well. That just seems like... Maybe it was just because of how they all came at me at once. from that damn call. We just gotta make this bad boy gold. Oh, this is our gear, this uh, armor.
Took care of business, guys. Yeah, we got more than enough elevation to make it the base. Uh, Emmanuel, hey, I appreciate you popping in. Enjoy your movie, and I'm glad you're enjoying the content, brother. Oh, Virginia's here. Okay, let me see if I can... Virginia, come here. Got something for you. So we're going to make this gold next. Katana time.
one survived? I have no clue. We're in the middle of a defense. Dude, you can't love that. Yeah, small part. We went ahead and uh, built this, uh, the gauntlet, I call it. supported He wants to show me. No. I mean, there she goes again, guys. Whether she wants to show me her secret or not, as soon as I give her the gun, she's gone. Ah. Uh. So let's see. Let's see how the gauntlet does. I'm not even going to reset the traps, guys. We're just going to let. If they even make it over here, that seems like the genius put in work. Really chat. I'm not even gonna reset the, the traps. I wanna see how how far they push up in. If they ever even make it, but Jane's out there fucking slaying them. Dust, I see you raiding, brother. What is going on, man? Really? I didn't even know he had was talking around the phone like that. Virginia, let him play the...
Dust, having a good night, brother. I appreciate the raid. How you doing tonight, man? We're getting our gauntlet put to the test right now. Seems like it, it's handling it pretty easy. Oh yeah, place the radio down. I don't even know how to do that. Why does it keep turning off? I think we're good. What did I do with Kelvin? His ass probably tried to follow me to the... Yeah, he's not, he's almost back. He finished picking up sticks and decided to go follow me across the map. There it is. Got the katana. Golden. Do can you make this golden? Trying to see what all the things you can make golden. Can make this golden. Oh, I don't think I reset. Did we reset? Yeah, we're good. All right, Virginia, let's see how...
Steve Nesco, what's going on? How you doing? Oh. Alvin will do the traps for us, like a real G. Or he'll run away outside of the defenses. Uh, Tim, our stream went well, I thought. We uh, we got a lot done. Started working on some real big thylas. Calvin out there with his ass beat. Weather's so nice today.
Yeah, run power to like I gotta figure out so where are we gonna actually set up our I mean we could like legit set our solar farm up here. Like we should probably do it on the roof though. Not really my style, you know what I mean? I usually like to keep things a little less, uh, creepy. How am I doing on bulbs? We're doing really well on light bulbs. I got a couple stacks uh, spread around out in here. Got another pot here. It's been raining a lot lately, hasn't it? I don't know if it's because we've been activating the, the smelter a bunch. So I think that makes it rain. So bright though, that lamp.
got to get the spotlights out there, too. I don't think I got the recipe for the spotlights, did I? Yeah, right now, that's just staring into the dark abyss. I think there was uh, another cave over near that, um, that bunker, the one that we just did, the uh, residential bunker. I've seen a little blue mark. And I meant to go to it. I think we can get another blueprint from there. Drink. This other fish. So the one thing I notice about settings wise is the longer days are nice because like you get to do so much more during the day. But the one thing I have noticed um, is when you make the days longer, it changes a whole bunch of the other settings, like how like how much you get hungry and thirsty. So because your days are longer, um, I honestly feel like you eat less, but it's not that you eat less, it's just more spread out. So you still have to eat twice a day, but the, it's just the day is very, very long. Keep the spotlights. No, you can't keep the spotlights like in a cave. I already hit this one. Maybe. Maybe I didn't hit this one. Come <laughs> 
There it is. Got the spotlight. I thought it was at one of those little blue markers or whatnot, so that's why I, and I, I remember seeing this one. I wasn't sure if it was in this one, but I remember seeing this one when we came to the, the bunker over there. And I ended up working out great. <sighs> little beast fam is good. Uh, I think the spotlight, it's actually a surprising amount of sticks. And, um, light bulb. I don't remember what the other stuff is. Uh, Jacob, I appreciate the love, brother. I hope you're having a good day, man. The gore couch? Great with the lamp. Otherwise, you're just that dude with the leg lamp. <laughs> Nobody wants to be just that dude with the leg lamp. Kelvin, I swear to God, dude, I will slice the fuck out you. You do shit, stupid shit like that.
So does anybody know how, how how big of a spread this um this light has? Like setting it up there, is it gonna really shine all the way down here, or should I put it cl closer to the to the fence? Oh, it doesn't have that big of a reach. I mean, I got a bet. I got another idea we could do anyway. So, got some for you guys right here. I'll show you. You guys know there's no there's no stop in the meta base builder nine thousand. the half proof of Adobe base at Arc. My base is dope in Arc. <laughs> Did you you guys coming in here telling me how you really feel. I'm playing Ark. You guys, oh my god, your, your, your base is doing so good, dude. You're doing... And then you guys just come over here and hurt my feelings. Like I ain't shit. Damn, something made it way far in. Okay, so there's spotlight number numero uno. So 
I think you have to support it in order to get a second one. So yeah, well, let me take these apart. If I whack these down, I'm pretty sure it's going to knock down the other one. I ain't too worried about it. It'll give me a place to run the electrical cable anyways. Art lives in a shed with two air conditioners and a storage box. B.S. Patrick, brother, thank you, thank you for this super chat, man. No, 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 no. My feelings were hurt. It's just, I thought my base was pretty good in Ark. It's huge. I built it out of Adobe, right? I got the generator. Like, I did all that stuff. I feel like the base was super good in Ark. No, don't do that. Here. Damn, what's the super chat, man? That's all you're getting from me today. Hey, dude, you've done too much already, dude. I tried putting you on probation. Didn't work. I appreciate the love, man. Oh, put the legs against the fence. Yeah, that probably would have been a little better. It wouldn't have been as in the way. We'll see how it shines, though. See if it's any good. Okay, so... I don't even think we need to boost these, because they could have their own power source. It's not like they're very... Uh, hopefully they're not super power intensive. Actually, just go straight to it. Awesome. Not the prettiest thing in the world. Saves me some extra wire, though. <laughs> it's 
So are those just automatically on or? Do they only turn on at night or do I got to turn them on? Oh, do you? <laughs> so the solar thing has to have batteries. Okay. Did I really only have two batteries? Wow. Really only had two batteries. I mean, I know I used a ton of the batteries I did have on the smelter, but... Yeah, I, got, I, got, I can get some extra batteries down on the beach here. It's not a big deal. Oh, I'll be able to power them off the same one. I probably could. The only problem, though, is... um. I'd have to spend more wire, and it's honestly easier for me to just get an extra battery than it is honestly to get wire. No, I'm not getting cheap. If anything, I'm, I'm spending more resources. Because each, each light's getting its own independent uh, solar thing. Yeah, my katana's gold. Gold play it. We want to test out the katana. Hopefully these dudes aren't crazy armored.
was like, See your friend here? Yeah. Gave you the perfect pace. What do you mean? I need more wheat. That's not even. Really? These guys are quite armored.
We splash this shit real good. Thank you, thank you for the, uh, run the candles down with the go. I, I forgot you told me that you could do that. Yeah, I forgot that was even a thing. I was trying to test out the new weapons. See how strong they feel. Bust the pots? What does that do? I didn't know you could break the pots. I knew you could break the the wood and the tents and the boxes and shit. I didn't know you could break the pots. I'm so full on resource though and I can't even pick anything up anyways. You get bones? Mm. Should be able to get airborne here. Oh my wow. Shit they do. Ah. 
Mmm. Yeah, I'm full up anyways. Can't even grab this. Hey, right, Tim, you have a good night, brother. What I have for dinner? Uh, what the hell did I have for dinner? Oh, the wifey wasn't home. She just grabbed some on the way home. I had a uh, some uh, pepperoni cheese bread from Little Caesars. Yeah, it was delicious. You gotta, you gotta get the buffalo ranch so dipping sauce with it too. That shit is so good. Damn, Kevin, watch out, bro. See, chat. This is this is how you do it. This is called this is. I just like to show out sometimes on like how how this is the meta. Look at this. Uh. Meta. Meta. This is how you. Oh. Oh. Shit. Oh, you thought I was gonna. Oh. Uh, you ready? Oh. 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 That's how it's done, chat. That's how it's done. Let's go ahead. Okay, so now both of those lights should be on, right? Yeah. We won't really be able to see how bright they are until nighttime. Hopefully they do something. If not, it's just going to be a waste of like 40 picking sticks, man. Mm -hmm. No, Virginia. I already know where you're going to try to bring me. Yeah, we'll see how they look at night. See if we have to make any adjustments. What's up, guys? I was just coming to hang out. Relax. I said relax. Bro. Damn, was that his head? Oh, <laughs> 
Well, they call me the leg chopper 9000, bro. You alright? Oh damn, bro. Here, I'll help you out. There you go. <laughs> now you don't feel the pain anymore. I cut, I, cut, I cut off the hurt part, dude. No? I had it, it made sense. All right, yeah, we cut off, we cut off the hurt part. Bunch of skin pouches around here. Him, I don't even know how his head came off like that though. That shit went really far. What was the fast animation? So what happens is, is when you craft an item, um, I don't even know something I can craft. Uh, when you craft an item and you do it multiple times in a row, the, the animation gets faster and faster every single time you do it. Oh yeah, I could do it with bone armor. Yeah, yeah, bone armor is a good one. So for instance, I stack a bunch of bone here, so a bunch of rope, a bunch of tape, right? You'll watch it. As I do it, he'll start crafting faster. So it's like a little feature they added to the game. We got a lot of golden stuff today too, which I'm pretty happy about. Gotta be careful with that. We almost lost our glider on the roof there. Cool thing is I have another, um, actually. We have another glider that spawns up there, so it's not too big of a deal. The only other thing I was thinking, guys, for the, the traps is to, like, put some... Just, like, landmine, like, traps out here. You know what I mean? Just like, boom, boom. Just have them kind of spread out. Something like that.
It kind of would be a pain to reset them. That's why I kind of did them close here where I could, we could see them pretty easily. How those other stick bundles go? Oh, there. These ones won't be reset like during raids or whatever. They're kind of just extra. Gotta go grab some ropes real quick. Well, yeah, the, the base damage thing had nothing to do with, like, any of this stuff. I, I wasn't really worried about repairing this. It's like, if they come in and then they start whacking this, and then it collapses, to, like, rebuild it, you have to, like, literally take the whole thing back apart. And um, that's just really annoying. And every time that would happen, like, on our other playthroughs, it just, it was so bugged out, you couldn't really even get your base back. And I just didn't want that to happen again. But once I get, like... Everything gold, I guess it doesn't really matter. And the gauntlet, I feel like the gauntlet is strong enough that we don't have to really worry about guys getting in there and hitting the actual base. But yeah, that was the main reason for it, because I just wanted this to be a long-term, really nice-looking base that I didn't have to worry about glitching out on me. Uh, Ichiren with the Super Chat, thank you so much. No toothbrush on an island and he's chugging sodas like no one's business. <laughs> I mean, we drink a little bit of water. I forget. Yeah, we got this golden crafted club. See if it starts raining again.
pretty far through that time. Probably the most they've ever pushed through the gauntlet. Yeah, so it did start raining, as you can see. When you activate that, the thing, it rains almost every time. I, 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 the compound boat is, is, is next. I, I tell you guys all the time, the second you insult somebody on the channel, you're instant banned. Like, no timeouts, you just get banned. Instantly. And then when I see you come back, I'm gonna insta ban you again. Be the end of the waves, right? Now, when my moderators are here, they're they're a lot nicer than like people actually say stuff about them. Like, oh, your moderators are always, and I'm like, yo, listen, my moderators are sh nicer than I am because when I'm when I don't have a mod active, I don't have time to like play games with people and like time them out and 
when they come back to see if they so when I'm by myself I don't I don't time anybody I just right click ban you that way I don't have to deal with it because I don't have time to wait and see if when you come back if you're gonna stop or any no I ain't got time for none of that so my moderators are are a lot nicer and a lot more they deal with a lot more shit than I do I think that might be it, Chuck, for push. Brian Griffin is that's not your real name, dude. Get out. Yeah, I know Russian. Yeah, I seen it. I seen it was him. Yeah, I think that's it. Amber, I appreciate it. Now I'm, 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 I'm really liking the base. Uh, I keep getting, getting a lot of comments, people saying how much they like the base, and it's. I feel like it's definitely come along quite a ways. You know, just think back to what it was when we first moved here. This area was so wooded. I've used the spear launchers a couple times. I think that might. Is it over? I know the waves are over. I don't know if this thing's done yet. Yep, it's done. So now we got the golden golf club. I was just trying to see what all oh, you can make golden. Oh wow, you can you can do everything gold. Mark, thank you, thank you for the gifted. Once I'm done with the, am I killing cap? No, 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 no. So this game is gonna be like long-term playthrough. So like, if they if they release new updates and things like that, new items or caves or whatever, um, this will kind of be like my forever community type of deal. You could say for Sons of the Forest. But Mark, thank you, thank you for the gift of God. I really appreciate it.
electric fence. Uh, I, I I was thinking about doing um, an electric fence. But what we have already is like so strong. You know what I mean? That it's... it's I don't even really need to add anything else to it. You know what I mean? Like, what I like to see added to the game, I want them to fix the crossbow. I want to be able to have sights, add maybe even like a little scope to it. Um, just more caves, more things to explore. Less like story oriented, uh, you know, add more items to the game, more weapons, things like that. There we go. Traps like auto resetting. I, I, I think Kelvin's doing it somehow, but because I have him on maintain the base, but he's like doing it from up here with his mind. It's weird. I seen another guy that was walking around up there. I don't think he's coming back though. There was another mutant dude out here walking around. It looked like maybe one of the tall ones. Yeah, my hairline is pretty much... I, I didn't spray my hair on today before I started stream. Usually I spray it on, but I was... I was too busy trying to eat dinner. Plus, my supply of man in the can is getting low. Stock's getting low, chat. I got I gotta re up. Yeah, he ain't out there.
The stock is low, you gotta pick between upstairs and downstairs to spread. <laughs> what is man in a can? Man in a can is my uh it's my own brand that I invented, chat, of of, of spray on hair. Yeah. We got a golden pickaxe. We're just making everything golden, chat. I wonder if you can make can you make a golden shovel? No. It's not. That'd be stupid. Uh, once we get the compound bow, we'll be able to do that. I think you can make that gold. He's gone. Yeah, and then just so you guys know, a channel membership tag won't save you from getting banned either. Yo, Calvin's literally just like stuck right here, chat, but he's like still maintaining the base, which is nice. So I was waiting to see. Okay, never mind. I'm gonna have to use shoe polish if I can't get no more man in the can. Wait, wait, wait. Can I add? Do I have to add oh, let me see something real quick? Yep. Okay. And then we can add these. another cooking pot and I thought wrong yeah so I don't remember you get the compound bow in the flooded bunker which bunker is the flooded one Hey, Sergeant Kelvin with the raid, brother. Thank you so much. Um, where is it? Where is it? There it is. One of these has a map of all the... Floppy rated too? Seriously, guys, thank you so much. What's going on with all the raids? I appreciate the love. Floppy, how you doing tonight, brother? Sergeant Kelvin, how you doing tonight? That's one of these notes here it has the picture of all the, the bunkers. There it is. So I think it's the maintenance bunker over near the airstrip. I think that's the one we're looking for. That's the flooded bunker. So that's the one we're going to have to hit next.
I really appreciate the love, guys. Hope everybody's having a good night tonight. Yeah, we're trying to figure out um, where the flooded bunker is. Because I want to get the uh, the compound bow. Let's see this. So it's right near the uh, the airstrip. But again, I hope everybody's having a good night tonight. We got the ultimate tree fort built for the most part. It's actually pretty thick up there. I believe when you hear the lightning strikes up there, that's the uh, solophyte veins that are above ground. Oh, there it is. Okay, I see it. I believe this one's actually in a cannibal camp too, if I'm not mistaken. So more, more opportunities for us to test out the golden katana. Uh, Ryan, holy crap, thank you so much. Dropping the five gifted. Uh, everybody who receives one of those gifted memberships, welcome to the family. Oh, we're almost there. Sorry, dude. How are you just gonna come knock the shit out of me and then walk away like that? <laughs> Mark with the super chat for the hair spat. <laughs> I appreciate you, brother. Clear hair. Oh, this is the ass chair. Yep, definitely the ass chair. That has to be the ultimate comfort to put your cheeks on cheeks. You guys think it's comfortable? It's got to be the meta.
We're good to start digging. Yep, we're good. Oh, I think we're right on the hatch, too. Yes! Right on the hatch. Am I going to play Enshrouded again? Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, so what we're doing for Enshrouded is I'm kind of just waiting. Instead of, like, nickel and diamond the updates, because uh, what happens when you nickel and diamond the updates, it's like by the time the game, like, fully releases and all, everybody's like, oh, the game just fully released. Are you going to It's like we just kind of played it and restarted and, and you know, like, pieced our way through the game over the past year. Um so what I'm doing is we're just kind of waiting for a bunch of updates to come out, and then we're going to go in, and that way it feels like a whole new experience for us, you know what I mean? Don't want to burn out on the game before, you know, it even fully releases. Just piecemeal and updates. Wait, man in the can is actually real? No, 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 better not be. That's my, that's my patent. That's my patent. Man, I can't really is real, dude. Get the fuck out of here. Dude. <laughs> Hi, James. Thank you. Thank you for the super chat, man. Um, started No Man's Sky. Any chance you'll play this game? I've I've already got a playthrough uh, of No Man's Sky on the channel right now, Ty. Yeah, we played it. We played it. A, I actually wanted to revisit that game at some point because I know there's been a lot of updates since the last time I played it. Been around since the late 1930s. <sighs> well, there's that chat. My my dream is is now just been shit all over. Now we got the compound bow. Is she uh, Did I get the Umbreon alt art the other day? I did. I did. I freaking pulled it, man. I went to trade night. I was supposed to buy one off of a guy. Um, and then he... Uh, it was already graded PSA 10. And then he ended up not wanting to let it go so i uh i came home i was kind of upset like damn i really wanted to get it you know what i mean but it is what it is and then uh the next morning i remember that box of uh random booster packs of evolving skies that i had built and i i, I talked about it before i was like oh maybe there what guys there might be a move around in here and um i decided screw it i'm just gonna open those packs and no bullshit, there was an act, there was a fucking Moonbriana in it. And a Glaceon V Max alt art. <laughs> yeah. And I was gonna sell those packs too. And I think somebody was like, oh, there's a there's gonna be a Moonbriana and it legit was a fucking Moonbriana. Yeah, I got it from a, a, those random single packs.
had a fucking moon Brianna in it. Seven hundred dollar card, guys. Raw, bit like twelve, thirteen hundred dollar card and a PSA ten. And mine is, it's clean. I, w I wouldn't be surprised if it's a ten. Yeah, it'd be really dope if it actually comes comes back as a PSA 10. Yeah, the centering on it is it's it's pretty prime, and pretty good. My Glaceon, not so much. The centering on that's quite off on the back. So I think that one will probably be nine. I played Dead Island 2 on the channel. We're gonna, we're gonna be checking out the DLC coming out here in like a week or something like that. I sent him the PSA. Bam, spit. Yeah, we sent him the PSA. Probably not gonna be able to see it because it's green and it's gonna green screen out, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, but there it is. Umbreon V Max, the fucking moon Breon chat. Yeah, pulled it. And this is the back, like look at the centering. See you see that centering chat? You see that centering? Yeah. It, it's pristine. Yeah, definitely getting it graded, man. That's a $1,500 card right there. Here in a couple months, easily. They're super hard to get. Oh, I got some I got some sports charts too. You ready for this? You ready for this chat? Boom. Boom. It is, the, yeah, it's pretty much the most expensive modern day Pokemon card to date. Uh, that is, the Ishiren, that, that right there is the most expensive and rarest card I own, hands down. Got the Dark Lotus Magnet field. Let me get it. <laughs> Those things are worth a fortune, aren't they? GG, we ended up getting... Now, I don't know if you can actually golden the compound bow that I was kind of just talking shit. Yeah, I don't think you can, actually. Nope, you can't even make the compound bow golden. Uh, do Pokemon devalue? So, Pokemon cards don't ever really go down in value. Um, there is like a you know trends where they go up and down, but for the most part Pokemon cards usually go up in value. The only thing that really makes them go down is um, Scarcity so like if there's a like say, you know the moon Brian is $1,500 and then all of a sudden 
10,000 more get put into circulation somehow, the value of the card would go down. But um, yeah, generally that's the only thing that really hurts value is quantity. Yeah, so that sucks, man. We got the compound bow and we can't even, uh, we can't even make it golden, but it's all good. It's, it's still an awesome weapon. We're not going to not save today, so. Now, there's some pretty cool modern Pokemon cards. Like I said, I, um, I haven't collected since I was a kid, you know what I mean? So for me, getting back into it was really, really weird. Um, but I, I, I do enjoy it. You know, I've been having a good time um, just building up my little binders and stuff like that. Some super, super, uh, super, super addicted to doing the like the set binders, like the master sets. That's kind of my thing. Let's see. Shelves are looking good. I told you guys I started a binder and um, I think it's gonna be my it's my coolest binder yet and uh, it's massive guys like I, I I can't even explain to you guys how big this damn thing is it's it, it's thick it's got a, it holds a thousand and twenty four cards and uh, what I'm doing with this one, it's 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 big, guys. Is I'm actually collecting all 1,025 Pokemon, all in one binder. Yeah, I already I have probably 70, like probably 60 percent of them already. The binder's almost done, guys. Um, I got about 60 percent of all the Pokemon ever created, and. Uh, I was going to do a, a video and showcase it because it's really hard for me to show the binder right now, just like the setup. But yeah, I have a, I have a binder that's just, it has every, in Pokemon, and they're all in order too. They're all in the, their Pokedex number um, from number one to number 1,025, all in order. Um, some of the cards are more expensive versions. Some of them are older, so it all just kind of depends. But yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a monster binder. It's a monster binder. All right, so we should be good, guys. Inventory-wise, we're good. I got some more stuff. I'm gonna. I actually might organize these shelves off stream at some point because I want to get all my food on one wall so we can kind of take inventory. But we have so much loot. I don't think it really matters. <laughs> How? Uh, I mean, it just depends on um, finding the cards. Well, I could probably finish it and. The next month or two if i really really went hard but i'm not in like any crazy crazy rush to uh, no no thigh shreds max that's <laughs> and, and and that's actually jonah uh jonah that's that's actually what i uh named the binders it's the catch them all binder because uh when i played the games that was my goal when i played the games was to go and play from Pokemon Red all the way up to the newest game and try to catch every single Pokemon in the in the whole game um, in every game I wanted one of every Pokemon and uh, now I'm doing it with the cards too so all right guys but yeah we made some pretty good progress today on the base um, there's just some organization stuff in here, but for the most part, man, it's it's coming together pretty damn good. I really, really like the layout. Um, you know, we got our armory here that we're working on and stuff like that. We got some extra weapons. Uh, got the katana today, which was huge, huge goals. The katana. But... All right, guys, I, I do appreciate you all for coming and hanging out tonight. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow with some more stuff. Not exactly sure what the hell we're doing yet. I'll, I'll get it figured out. Um, but I, I really appreciate the love. I appreciate the support. You guys have been amazing. Um, 
uh, like I said, I'm gonna go over. I gotta. I'm gonna be doing some more recordings in the morning, uh, just like I did today. I'll be releasing a State of Decay video <clears throat> for you guys tomorrow. So uh, that'll probably be the first thing that shows up. It'll be earlier in the day. Probably I'm trying to get it out by like 10 in the morning. <clears throat> we'll get that out for you guys. And then, you know, obviously we'll be doing our streams. But all right, guys, I love you all. I hope you all have a good night. Asha, what's going on? How you doing? Um, but I hope you all have a good night. Priscilla, it's good to see you. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.